are we going to start using Claude instead of ChatGPT? Right now, I'm paying around $20 a month to use ChatGPT+. So we're going to see, do we need to still pay that 20 bucks or can we switch to Claude depending on our use case? Today's video, we're going to go ahead and put identical prompts into Claude and ChatGPT. We're going to see which one performs better. Some of y'all might switch off depending on your use case, but overall get an idea of where we should put our money. And even if we have to spend money in the context of these AI language models. So let's go ahead and begin the test. First test, attachments of files. We're going to attach this study I found on global warming. We're going to summarize it and see which output is better between the two models. To do so, we're just going to go ahead and add the attachment here. I'm going to do the exact same prompt. So there is no one in the comments like, hey, you didn't say the word the. Don't worry. Don't worry. Summarize this PDF. Command A, Command C. All right. Hit enter here. Come to JGBD. Attach the PDF. Same prompt. Hit send message. Okay. Boom. Here is the first output. Claude's way of handling this was a bullet point list. Let's see ChatGPT. And ChatGPT's way of handling this was just a paragraph. That being said, we can always, of course, proctor further and just say output in bullet points. Here we go. One thing I want to point out as well is depending on your use case, you will lean either way. If you don't want custom instructions, you don't want to build custom GBTs, you don't want to leverage GBTs in the OpenAI store, if you don't want to access any of that, and your use case is purely talking to a language model for attaching files, and as you'll see here, maybe passively writing code, then you may do the switch. But there's a ton of advantages that we see. Actually, I don't even know if this does images. We're going to find out if this does images too. There we go. We can go ahead and get bullet points as well. Both passed the first test. Summarization of an underlying file. Let's go ahead and create a new chat. Next test, generate an image of a dog eating. It cannot generate images. So if that is a value point here, as you'll see, let's go ahead and just show you in ChatGPT. If that's a value point, then you are gonna stick with GBT, creating our image. It's not eating it, it's next to it, but we got our image, pass two. Next test here, let's see if we can generate code and how it will generate its code. We're gonna say generate based on this image. I'm going to attach it. And at this point, I've realized it cannot attach images. So it actually fails that test as well. Just to show you what I mean, I'm going to attach the image here. Okay, so this is just Zapier's dashboard, as you see here. I'm going to hit enter here, and you'll see what generates some code. So you could probably code with this, but it's not going to be as good as coding with ChatGPT. So does it pass the code test? I would lean towards no, as you see here. So we can't generate images. We can't read images. Can we search the internet? Find me recent articles about the storm in California. Now, if you don't know there's a storm in California right now, I had a crazy day yesterday. <laughs> there is a storm, a lot of a lot of water, a lot of water. We're not used to this much water in California, all right? Okay, so, so just to show you what I mean here, this should say browsing the internet. There you go, doing research with Bing. Can we browse the internet? So it, pays, it did not pass this test as well. So what is the use case, Corbin? Why would I use Anthropic? Well, I guess if you don't wanna pay money, there we go. If you want to access this APA, API in software, there actually is a value point there. I've talked about this in the past. So there is value there for APIs and softwares because that's much more of handling data, not really dealing with external data. Number three, it seems like this could possibly be a nice way for you to attach files and not pay 20 bucks as people don't want to pay ChatGPT 20 bucks for the ability to summarize PDFs and deal with data in CSVs. But that concludes today's video. So with the big price of free, that is what you can do with Anthropic. If none of that seems valuable, you're probably like, you know what, I'm gonna stick with ChatGPT. I don't mind spending 20 bucks a month. That just about does it in this video. If you were curious of what I was talking about when I was just GBT store, GBT custom GBTs, all of that, check out that GBT playlist here. That's probably gonna be my most recent video. I have no clue. And that's my face. I'll see you in the next video.